pretending creator. I love it. Good morning, could I please have a large double-double? Thank you, sir. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to Toronto to Buffer Festival. Buffer Festival is a film festival for YouTube creators. Uh, Corrado did explain it in the first video I made about Buffer Fest. Uh, if you didn't watch the whole video, then I guess you didn't get that part of the video. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I had, I had Corrado explain what Buffer Fest is. It's basically like Sundance, uh, the TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival. So creators from all over the world uh, who do YouTube uh, content enter and then they are asked to come and present their work uh, at Buffer Festival. And that's what it's all about. So the first one I went to was Travel and Adventure, which was amazing. I loved every video that I watched. Um, and today is Vlogger Day. So uh, there's other things that are going on today, but I'm mainly going down for vlogging. And Jamie Dewey sent me an email saying there's a place on Young Street. And I forget what it's called off the top of my head. I, I, I forwarded the email to myself so I can remember. But it's a deep fried chicken place that puts five different types of cheeses inside the chicken and then deep fries it. So we'll probably do that as a uh, video and uh, I'll put it up next Friday or something. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, let's go downtown. Okay, made it down safe and sound. Zero traffic. As it should be. On a Saturday morning. I'm glad I pulled in here. It's five bucks for the whole day till 6 p.m. Five dollars. Wow. And because they were closed, I went to this one. It's only five bucks. That's the cheapest parking in Toronto. I also forgot to show you my pass. Buffer Festival. Ken Dominic, Kibby Production Team. Attending creator. I love it. So it's all uh, locked up at the front. A guy did come to the door and say it's not opening till 11, but VIP and creators can go in, but we have to go through the stage door. It's on the other side. This is the famous Massey Hall. I saw Cats here. I saw Rock Williams in concert and a few others to mention. All right, guys, I just bumped into e Neve here, <laughs> and uh, we're just like walking up. See, there's cats, look at that. And we're probably in areas that we're not supposed to be, but there's no like signage letting us know where we should be. There so we we'll see. figure it out eventually. Look at that, oh, we're good. Do makeup there, makeup there. Imagine how many awesome performers there's, the green room. Like I said, like Robin Williams probably sat right here. All right, upstairs. <laughs> Just hanging out with all the vloggers down there for a bit. Talk with Adam and Latoya forever. And, uh, but then they took them all up to uh, the green room. So I'm gonna go up to the theater. I'll we'll probably be up, be up in the balcony again. I thought I would get my balcony seating once again. I'm gonna have to move over a little bit. This is a light right there. So not, not, as, not as many people 
came out to this event like they did the uh, uh, Thursday Thursday night event but Thursday night was packed but today I don't know maybe uh, people aren't as interested in vloggers or because it's Saturday morning people would rather sleep in I don't know but uh, I'm still debating on whether or not to stay down here for the Casey Neistat thing if I, if I bump into some people, then I'll stay. Please do not turn off your cell phones for the enjoyment of others. Please set any electronics to mute. Otherwise, you're welcome to use your electronics at any time. However, we ask you to respect the video maker's hard work and never film the screen while a video is being projected. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the stage, the creators of the vlogger screening. Good morning. I don't know. Is it morning still? Is it afternoon? Good morning, afternoon. How are you guys doing? Cool. Well, it's good to see uh, you guys here. Um, we, I'm, I'm just excited because I just see the talent of this stage, and it's really cool to be able to be a part of this. So, huge shout out to Buffer Festival for having us. Thanks to all of you for coming out and hanging out with us and checking out all of our videos. Thanks to all of you guys. That was pretty amazing. Oh my gosh, it was so cool to be a part of all of this. So first off, give another big round of applause for all of you on stage. Thank you guys for being on stage and really having a chance to have you guys interact with them. Um, so thank you to you all as well. They did an amazing job. <laughs> So we had like family vloggers, we had skateboarder vloggers, um, like a fashion vlogger, all the, all the people leaving. More people than I thought. Great footage. Uh, we had fashion, we had uh, amazing cinematography, and great storytelling. Some people actually did a pretty cool job of kind of breaking it down as if they were actors in their vlog, so that was kind of fun too. One of the things that really sucks uh, is one of my favorite places to get a slice of pizza was the big slice, and it was an absolutely huge slice. And I think the last time I ate there is with the guys from England. So it's been been closed for over a year now, a year and a half. Over over a year and a half, almost coming up on two years. Wow, crazy. But right across the street, it's Hot Star Large Fried Chicken, and I believe Jamie Dewey asked me to come down. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Before I go in, there's a nice black convertible Lamborghini. Just to give you guys some insight into what I'm thinking right now, uh, it's right now I'm just kind of walking up and down the street looking for a place to shoot this video. So I don't have to go and buy the chicken and then come out here somewhere, somewhere safe, maybe not necessarily in the direct sunlight. There's a bunch of police motorcycles over there, OPP, so that might be a safe spot, but it's kind of uh, in the middle of nowhere. And my car is too far away to grab the food, go all the way back down to my car. I might have to do that, it's just an option. I just don't want the food to get cold because then it might taint the whole review. I'm gonna check over here. I also just noticed I'm almost out of battery, so I might have to shoot it tomorrow. There's no necessity to shoot it now. Here's those motorcycles I was telling you about. Sweet. OPP. Gorgeous bikes. There's four of them. I always wondered if the helmets are locked on or they just put them there knowing that you're not going to touch them. <laughs> huh. Nice McLaren. It's almost three o'clock. I'm just kind of milling about walking around downtown Toronto, getting my steps in for the day. And uh, I just noticed 
I try to call Carol a couple times and uh, just keep saying fail. So I try to call different people fail. So I'm thinking it has something to do with my watch. It's hooked to my phone or something and it's not letting calls go through. So this is the Eaton Center. A lot of you guys have seen the Eaton Center before. Very big mall. I did a review down there one time. Like a breakfast review. And so there's an Apple store in here. That's why I'm gonna head on over. The Genius Bar. Better help me out. So the Apple store is like an hour to an hour and a half wait. Sorry, an hour and a half to two hours wait. We said there's a Telus store downstairs that might be able to help faster because they, I guess, might be trained on watches to cell phones. So the girl at Telus, she uh, helped me figure it out. She did. She made me shut the phone off, restart it, and then I phoned my mom. And then it seemed like it was only using my watch for me talking, but then it kind of figured itself out. I don't know what's going on. So I'll do a couple more experiments before I make a final analysis. But it almost seemed like the phone wasn't letting, it wanted to use the watch for audio, which is weird. Nice. Thank you. I have to stop and videotape that guy. He's hilarious. All the facial reactions and stuff that you get out of him. So right now I've decided to stay downtown. Go see Casey, but I'm gonna eat first. There's a couple spots along here I wouldn't mind trying out. Hey guys, obviously you remember Candace and James. Uh, you don't have a book on you. I'll go get one. All right, I'll go get one. James is going to go grab a book. Just released their book. No, it doesn't come out there. Or is it? It's out now. In two weeks. In two weeks. I knew it didn't come out in the fall. But I wasn't sure if it was October or something. Except we just found out today that Indigo in the Manu Life Center, they were so excited about it that they put 80 on their floor today. So. Wow. Cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. And this is Roberto. We're just talking business. Hey, guys. And there's the book. Look at that. That is yeah. awesome. Vegan food you actually want to eat. It's really good. Everything in here is carnivore approved. For of me, course. So you know it's good. <laughs> Super excited to be here. I've wanted to come to Buffer Fest for a really long time because I think Buffer uh, uniquely celebrates the aspect of being a YouTuber, being a creator um, that I am most attracted to, which is actually making the videos less of the hey guys stuff, more about actual creating content that's meaningful to the creator as well as the audience. So with that, I'm, I'm tremendously excited to be here. So what I learned from that video, I learned a lot from that video, but after that video, I had calls from all kinds of companies. The opportunities that came my way were huge and they were wonderful. Good job, man. All right, thank you everybody. So everybody is down here after the KC Nice, I think, waiting for the next thing to happen. I just talked to uh, Chris Prouse. Oh, the channel went away, but I just subscribed to them. They shot some pretty cool stuff in Algonquin Park, and I uh, can't wait to watch more of their videos because they're pretty cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a long, long day. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock, and there's another, like, two hours of short films and I just want to get home. I'm pretty tired. So thanks once again for stopping by, checking out the channel, and uh, we're going to do it all again tomorrow. 
tomorrow's the gala, so hopefully I get to meet up with even more people.